In today's episode, you will learn how to make your own wireless remote control system using 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver modules. This episode covers all the basics transmitter and receiver module pinouts, interfacing, edge bridge explanation and soldering, programming and how to make a remote controller to control an edge bridge. As you know, edge bridges are most commonly used in robotics for controlling the robot's forward, left and right movements. Well, in fact, this remote controller can be used to control anything wirelessly. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing are number one, Arduino. We will need two of these. One will be used with a transmitter module and the other one will be used with a receiver module. Number two. A Vero board for fixing the push buttons, transmitter module, and Arduino. We will make four holes for the push buttons. Number three, push buttons. We will need four of these for the forward, right, left, and stop. Number four, 433 megahertz RF transmitter and receiver modules and finally number five some male to female type jumper wires these components can be purchased from amazon the components purchase links are given in the description first of all let's start with the transmitter circuit the transmitter circuit is really simple as it consists of only four push buttons and a transmitter module as you can see one leg of all the push buttons is connected with the ground while the other legs are connected with the pin number 2, 4, 7 and 8 while the VCC of the transmitter module is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt ground is connected with the Arduino's ground and the data pin is connected with pin number 12 of the Arduino to increase the range a wire can be soldered with the antenna this is a 433 MHz transmitter module as you can see, it has three mail headers labeled with data, VCC and ground. Its connection with the Arduino is already explained in the circuit diagram. This is the 433 MHz receiver module. It has four mail headers. The rightmost pin is the VCC and the leftmost pin is the ground. While the middle two pins are interconnected and these are the data pins. Connect any of these two pins with the pin number 11 of the Arduino. Let's first make the transmitter circuit. First of all, make four holes and fix the push buttons. This is ready for the soldering. Let's connect one side of all the push buttons with the ground. Now connect 4 jumper wires which will be later connected with the Arduino spin number 2, 4, 7 and 8. Now solder another jumper wire. This will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Soldering for the transmitter circuit is done. Now we will simply connect the transmitter module and these push buttons with the Arduino as per the circuit diagram is explained. Now let me explain the edge bridge circuit and its making after all the soldering is done. Then I will explain the final interfacing. This is the circuit diagram of the receiver circuit. As you can see, the 433 MHz receiver module VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. Ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. And the data pin is connected with pin number 11 of the Arduino. On the right side, we have two edge bridges. These edge bridges are exactly the same. Each edge bridge is used to control a motor. With the help of these edge bridges, the direction of rotation of the motors can be controlled. I have already explained this in my previous tutorial, in which I explained the whole working principle through a Proteus simulation. This is the PCB design of the relays based edge bridge module designed in Gates of Eagle 9.1.0 version. 
If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorials. The links are given in the description. Also watch a tutorial on PCB design transferring and etching. This PCB design is as per the circuit diagram is explained. Over here we connect the 12 volt and ground wires coming from the external power supply. Over here a DC motor is connected. As you can see the motor will be connected with the common pins of the relays. The normally close and normally open contacts of the relays are connected with the external power supply. If you don't know about the relay contacts and its driver circuit designing then watch my tutorial on relay driver circuit design calculations. The link is given in the description. These are two N2222 NPN transistors and two 10K resistors. Now let's use the same components, 2 n 2222 NPN transistors, 10K resistors and relays to make an edge bridge module. So this is the 2N2222 NPN transistor, the left leg is the emitter, the middle one is the base and the rightmost leg is the collector. As you can see the transistors, resistors and relays are soldered. And now we will connect this female DC socket. The blue wires will be used for the 12 volt and the black wires will be used for the ground. Now let's solder these wires with the edge bridges. As you can see the jumper wires are also soldered. Now let's connect another jumper wire for the Arduino's ground. Now we will solder four wires. Two wires will be used for the battery and two wires will be used for the motor and same for the other edge bridge. The motor wires will be connected over here and the battery wires will be connected over here. So I'll be back after soldering these wires. So friends now you can see the green wires are soldered. These two wires will be connected with the motor and these two wires will be connected with the battery and similarly for this one this will be connected with the battery and these two wires will be connected with the motor. This is the receiver module and uh, as you can see the uh, red wire is connected with the 5 volt and uh, the black wire is connected with the ground and the white wire is connected with pin number 11 of the Arduino and uh, two wires uh, 
are connected with pin number two and three and uh, this edge bridge module is connected with pin number seven and pin number eight so that's all about the receiver circuit and uh, over here as you can see this is the transmitter circuit uh, over here this is the the, the the orange wire is the VCC which is connected with the 5 volt and uh, the gray wire is the ground and it is connected with the Arduino's ground and uh, the yellow wire is the data wire and this is connected with pin number 12 while these four push buttons are as you can see are connected with pin number 2, 4 and 7 and 8 so all these connections are exactly 100% as per the circuit diagram. This is the transmitter programming and this is the receiver programming. I have already explained these programs in my tongue controlled wheelchair project. The link is given in the description. You can download these programs from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this in action. So friends, as you can see, all the components are fixed on the uh, hardboard and all the connections are as per the circuit diagram, which I've already explained. So this is the transmitter circuit and it's already on. And this circuit is also on and I have connected 12 volts over here. So this is for the forward and as you can see over here the light is turned on and this is for the stop this is for the left i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching